Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're working on part uh, five <laughs> in this book here on this page. Um, I haven't done all the green background, but we're going to work on the flowers. We you'll notice on the other side of the uh, page that we're not really following. There's yellow one, pink ones, and white ones. So I'm going to leave the white on the daisy type flowers. I don't know about these. I think I want this one and this one pink. I know that this one's supposed to be the same color as these, but I don't really think they're the uh, exact same flower. Since it's got a whole bunch more petals, I think it would look pretty as pink. And I think that would bring our pink down from the top and over for the corner. So we'll have our three point colors there. The white will be here and it'll be kind of an off white, um, like a cream color almost with a little yellow center. So that'll bring the yellow down here and across to over here and up here. And there are a few up here too. These guys up here, I guess this one's one of these guys. Whatever these are going to be. <laughs> but if you notice, I don't have um, any blue flowers here. So depending on what I'm doing here on her dress, I haven't figured that out yet. I thought I would bring um, a little blue over here to bring some of that blue into its three corner here. So I thought I'd do these in blue, pink, and creams, however it ends up. But we're going to do the flowers today. And I did um, put a little black book here and a little black book down here, bringing the black down from the cat, because we did the cat yesterday. So I'm going to just bring the camera down and we're going to work on this little guy over here first. Okay, here we go. We're going to do it in the pink tones that um, I did the book in. And I believe that was the Peach Puff, the Sakura, and Nude. So we will start off with the lightest color. Because it's easier to go dark than it is to go light for me. We're going to leave a little of that really light because it might bring in some white on that. It all depends on how this goes. So we're starting in the dark shadowed area and then bringing it out from there. Probably dark shadow goes to here and we're bringing it out to here. So two thirds of the way. And we're just doing the shadow parts now. So wherever there's a gray shadow, we color that and bring it out another third. Not much of a shadow on that one. Put a little of it down in here. <laughs> okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to kind of add a little extra shadowing where a petal is under another petal. That's kind of under there. I'm 
Okay. I'm going to go in with our lighter pink, the Sakura. Put it over the same color and bring it out just a bit more. That's, I think that's a part of the leaf, the green leaf, so we're not going to color that petal <laughs> or leaf or whatever that is. Now we're going to bring in that darker color, which is the Peach Puff. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Little eraser bit. I'll be going over these again with the other colors, so keep that in mind when you're doing it. We're just doing light layers.
back in with the Secure. Blend that out a little bit. Okay, then we're going to bring in a little white. If I can find my white. Just the uh, Prisma white. Make sure the tip is clean. Make sure you're not bringing any bizarre colors in here. And go around where I want it white and then just bring it in lightly on top of the other color. No, that was interesting. Pressing just a bit too hard on that. <clears throat> These come out of a not a set of Prisma colors, by the way. These were bought in a separate box, and this particular pencil breaks a little easier than any of the other ones in the box. But I figured I'd use it until it um, either breaks or cannot be sharpened anymore and then I can chuck it and use another one. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just go in This one's the Sakura, and we're just going to shade it just a little bit more there. It's kind of a little soft shading, but... Especially since the white's there. Darken it in some areas that you think the petals should have a little more darkness. Yeah. Pretty little flower. Okay, we're gonna go down and do um, the one down here. Do do do, because I want it pink too. 
to we're gonna go in with the um, Sakura that I was using up there and we're just gonna go over the dark areas like I did with the um, other flower I'm gonna use the um, lightest color on the tips of this one so just get it down there and bring that color up gently covering all the gray and then out a little bit very soft little color there <laughs> bring in the darker color peach puff Sorry, just trying to find the areas to color. And try not to miss a petal because I'm really good at that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go back in with the light pink. Go in with the nude.
I'm going to go in with the white. with the light pink. I'm going to darken the petals that are underneath the other petal and bring it up a little bit. Do the center of that flower with some yellow. We have light orange yellow. And then light yellow. on a few of those petals too. And then we'll go in with some of the desert yellow. This color is in her hair and in the leaves. I want to just let that be. So we have two flowers, very lightly done. We're going to do this set here in blues. We have pale blue, teal, and dark Persian, which is what we did her bows, the ribbon in her collar, and the books up here. So we're just going to go in with the pale blue We'll do that one pink. We'll do this one blue. And this one up here blue. This one, well, should we do it blue? Ah, we can do it blue. And it's just a light blue. Then we'll go in with the uh, dark Persian blue.
Okay, I'm just going to go around and do that on all of them. So, I mean, you just watch me do the pink one over there. I'm going to go in with the teal. Corner areas here are always so fun. <laughs> okay, back in with the light blue, which is pale blue, sorry. And then go in with the white, which is got pink all over it. So let's get that out of there. Around the edge. I want to stay white and then just blend everything. Go back in with the dark blue. Crispen up some of those edges. Get them nice and dark so you can see them. And I like to go down like one side. Make sure one side is darker than the other. It's going to be darker underneath the sleeve, so we're just going to darken the top of that. Go back in with the um, pale blue. Okay, we're going to um, use the eraser if I can find it. <laughs> Get out the last color I used in there. Okay, I'm gonna add those little dots back in that were there that I covered up with all the pencil and we're gonna go in with the same colors and put a yellow middle in the center of that one. Work best if there isn't a color underneath it because the yellow will mix and make green. So you gotta be a little careful. That's why I use the eraser. We'll draw some lines, get some of that in there. Pull some yellow out in here, just for fun. <laughs> Background, A little teal in there. Play around with it until you like your little flower. But that's what those will look like, and I'll finish those off camera. And the white one we're going to do. Do I have some? Like 
this one, I think. Mm, maybe not that one. What are you? Okay. Gotta sharpen that one. Daisies. Can we see the daisies? Okay. So we're gonna go in with pale yellow all around the daisy petals. There are daisies up there too. We'll just do a few of these. Just laying a base coat on all of them. going to go in with um, Bister. In the darkest areas here, we're just going to pull a little color out. center so we're going to make that yellow not blue yellow <laughs> the light orange yellow first a little bit of the desert yellow and then the bright um, light yellow right in the center okay to bring in some of that desert yellow that in and then we're going to bring in our white. Make sure we don't have blue on it. See what bronze does. I want to make those petals look like petals. So we're going to bring a line out. We're going to take our eraser, take out all the blue we had in there because we really don't want blue in it. I mean, you could put blue in it if you want, and it'll lighten it up a little bit, but I'd prefer just to pull on both sides. So you take it down one side and then the other. You're leaving a stripe in the middle.
Okay, brightening up the flower. I'm going to be careful to take off what um, you're erasing a little bit so it doesn't look too muddy. And there you go. You got a little flower with a little white, sort of little eraser monk there. We're going to do that. Okay. I think I will brighten up the center of that. All of them, I think I will bring in a um, yellow uh, tulip color for you. Um, let's see what color this is. Ah, the tulip art is um, just like kind of like a Posca pan. It's. Um, Acrylic paint. I don't even know what color that is. I'm using it on brown paper. What color are you? Don't know. It's kind of a yellow. green. I want a yellow yellow. Here we go. I want you guys. No. <laughs> Come out the other way, guys. <laughs> you want to go out that way? Fine. Pencil case. Let's see. Yep, that's a better one. Okay, we're going to dot that in there and then up on the blue flower. Put that in there and over here on the pink one. So we'll do those in them. I kind of have to let that dry. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do her shirt. I've been debating about what color I should do it. And looking at the page, I see more pink than I see blue. And there's going to be a ton of uh, green down in here when we get all these leaves done. So I can do it in a light blue with um, striping in it because um, we have stripes. It's basically plaid, but we'll do the base material in the lightest blue. So we'll just go in here and put down some light blue. Very lightly. This is the pale blue we used on the flowers. It's in the ribbon. In her hair, the books, it's going to be the same colors. Okay, so we get the light blue down. be a little darker under here so we're just going to do that. Pull it out a little darker under here. It's going to be darker down in this area towards her waist. So we're going to pull in a little darker there. 
This is raised up. That's why it's darker on this side. Then we're going to turn the book a little bit. Drop something on the floor. Not sure what it was. <laughs> but we're going to go around the book pages and darken the bottom down here and bring it up on all of it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. It's just a marker. I'm going to go under the ruffle and darken that. Under the button. We have a base of blue. We want to put in, um, we have dark stripes. We can put them in like the ones that are up at the top. So that's just the teal and the uh, dark Persian blue. And then the light, uh, lighter stripes we're going to do in kind of a red color. So we just pull down our stripe in blue. Following the lines that are there. I don't know where that one is. It's up there somewhere. sideways so I'll keep my lines kind of straight here and go across this way. Now on top of that, we're going to bring in the um, darkest of the red colors. I don't know if that's the darkest of the red colors, though. Oh, we're going to go in. There are little lines on both sides. This is not going to be dark enough. I know it's not. <laughs> we have brick red. Maybe that'll be darker. But we're going to go up these lines to bring the pink in. It's on both sides. I'm turning my pencil to try to get a sharper line on that. I hope I'm in frame. I don't want to do this over. <laughs> and somewhere up there. Now we have to turn the book because it goes the other direction also.
Did we get up in here? I can't tell. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring a little um, brick uh, red in here and just, uh, that was a really bad line. Turking down at the bottoms. And the tops. Kind of give it a shadow. Try to go on the lines you made. Not doing too good, terrible good there. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll just erase the little tails I've got going in the wrong direction. We'll redo it. I should probably turn the book. Okay, then we're going to bring in a um, shadowing color like a sepia or no, I have Bister out here. Why don't we use that? We're going to take this and just lightly, lightly put it over here to give us a shadow. Pull it up. Okay, we're going to use a blending stick here. This is a Caran Dash. Yep, 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 turn it that way. Caran Dash full blender blending stick. We're just gonna kinda go over it. bring in our light blue again and we're going to kind of give it a few little wrinkles in the fabric.
cute enough. Okay. Black. Where is black? We're just going to bring this line up. Then we bring in a white, any kind of white. What do I got? This is a white pit pen. Just gonna go over that a little bit. If we do this book, then we know how to do all the other stuff. What color am I going to do this book? And I have to do this book and that book. I could do the pages, and then it doesn't matter what I do here. So let's do the pages. <laughs> We're going to start off with a pale yellow. Go the direction of the pages. liney. I don't know if that makes sense, but don't fill it all in. Little desert yellow. Of a brownish color. Sharp pencil. This is the bronze.
do this only one way. Okay, then we're going to bring in a little bit of a, another brown color. What do we have up here? How about earth tone? It's probably a greener color, but it'll work. We want a variety of colored pages here. some areas. Okay, then we'll get the... Um, I have Bister out here somewhere. There we go. The little... bit here. Just kind of darken it. I'm going to just go across there and try to get it so you can notice it's there. Darken just this little spot up on each side. Doesn't quite look even to me, but we're going to darken that page in there. So we have some dark lines here. And then right across the bottom of the page couple of those over here on this side, leaving the center kind of more open. And then draw your finger across it, blend it out a little bit. You should get some of that shadow up here. This just does not look even. <laughs> Maybe she's in the middle of the book. First half chapter. Just putting some shadow lines in here. Then it doesn't matter what color I color the book, it'll have its shadow. Boom. Maybe we'll put a stripe on that binding. <laughs>
Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, um, what I'll do is go ahead and take a picture of it as is and leave it at the end of the video. And then the next part we will do, I mean, after I finish off camera, the rest of these flowers, we'll come back and we'll do the background and see what we can do with the leaves in the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.